I'd like to go over some common strategies for printing a drawing from model space. So here we've got a drawing that's more or less complete in model space and our intention is to print it in an 11 by 17 imperial paper size. So I have a separate drawing open here just to show you how we set up the template. So this is uh, a creation of an 11 by 17 boilerplate and if we just want to check on how it's to be sized I'll use the distance command here and you'll note when I snap on the markers that show where the paper edges are that it is 17 wide and it's 11 high and uh, we've arranged the uh, the common elements that you want to have in every boilerplate so that they don't have to be typed up fresh every time so this is stored as a separate drawing file and I just wanted you to see that before we go to insert it as a template. Okay, so back into the original drawing. Now, the important thing to be aware of is the scale factor that we're intending to print it is saved as part of the job defaults. And the scale factor is 1 to 100. So the whole time that we were working on this drawing, all of the symbols and scale was created assuming that in the end you're going to print at 1 to 100. And so that's the guide when we go to the insert menu and we go to insert a block we're going to pick from file we're going to browse. And there's the 11 by 17 imperial boilerplate that I was just showing you before so I'll select that. Now important to pay attention to what settings you use for scale factor. I'm going to leave the insertion point as specified on screen for scale factor, we just want our scale factor to match what was shown in the drawing defaults. So we'll insert it at 100. And for rotation, I don't want to rotate the plan, so we'll just leave it like that. I go to Insert. Here I get a little preview of what the template would look like once I position it on top of my drawing. And I'll just visually pick right there. Okay, so my template's in here, and uh, not uncommon to explode the block that we've just inserted and customize any of the text entities, but I'll just assume that it's all ready for a print. So now we're going to go to File and to Print. I select my printer. I select an appropriate print style table and that'll control the line weight according to the colors that have been used on the screen. I select the appropriate paper size. My plot scale factor is going to be 1 inches to 100 units. Again, that's the drawing scale factor. I want to make sure I've got center on page checked on. And for the plotted area, I've selected window and now I'm going to go to select print area. And so here I can snap to the markers showing where the paper edges are. Then I can go to preview. If it looks good on the preview screen, then you can just hit print and your product is finished. But I will close this. Okay, that's the general process for plotting an imperial drawing. Now I'm going to do an example where we do a metric drawing. So here's the mostly complete subdivision plan. We can see that a drawing scale factor of 1000 was set and it was used for sizing the text and the blocks as the drawing was being worked on. And I'll say OK to that. Now the intention is that we want to plot this on a C size piece of paper. And same as with the imperial drawing, I've got another drawing created that we're going to use for the template. Here it is. So the scale factor that you saw there didn't matter because the important thing is how we've sized the paper itself. So we've got a note in here telling us that this is uh, intended for a C size and it's actually giving us the millimeter dimensions of the drawing. So this has been created using those millimeter dimensions as a guide 
and so I'm just going to do a, a distance check on the width of the paper. And what you'll note here is that it's reporting a distance in meters, 0.432 meters, because the intended plot size is going to be 432 millimeters. So this is all ready to go, and again, I'll just close this because I just wanted you to see what it's doing. Okay, back to our original drawing. So we're going to go to Insert, From File, select the drawing that we were just looking at. Positioning, I'll do by eye. Uh, scale factor now, because it's a 1 to 1000 drawing, I type in 1 to 1000. Make sure you've got uniform scale checked on. Rotation, I do not want to have be prompted for, so I'll leave it unchecked. I go to Insert. So we have a little preview of what it will look like, and I'm going to visually position it. Okay, and there's what my drawing looks like. Now let's go to the print stage. So I'm going to select a CTB file to control how the line work, line weight will be assigned according to colors. I'm going to select an appropriate paper size for my printer to use, C size. Scale factor, this one's a little bit different from the imperial example. We're plotting one millimeter equals one drawing unit. Um, and so that, that's common when you're selecting your plot size. Um, so you have to divide the scale factor by a thousand in order to pick the number to place here. Everything else is the same. Make sure you've got center on page checked. We're going to select window as our what to print. Select the print area. And so here again, I'll just use the rectangle intended to represent the paper length, uh, the paper limits as my guide. And finally, I'll do a preview. If everything looks good, then we go straight to print. Thanks for your interest in uh, following this process for setting up prints. I know there's more than one way, but uh, these are two methods that work and that are relatively simple to follow. Thanks so much for your interest.